Okay, so welcome. This is the second half of the lesson on repeating decimals. Uh, we want to talk about how to convert a fraction to a decimal and then back again uh, so that we can know uh, how to turn one representation of a number into another representation of the same number. Uh, one of the fractions that we considered in the last video was 2 thirteenths, and so I kind of want to make sure that we know how to turn that into a decimal. Uh, we divide. This fraction bar says divide. We divide this number by that one. Dividend divisor. Dividend divisor. And we say, all right, 13 doesn't go into 2, but it does go into 20. And then we do the same thing that long division has taught us forever. We multiply and then subtract, bring down a number. 13 doesn't go into 7, but it does go into 70. Goes in 5 times, and we do the multiply, subtract, bring down a 0. Uh, keeping track of remainders, we started with 2, uh, 7, Five, they're different, so no, no repetition yet. 13 goes in a 50 uh, three times, three times, and we do the multiply, subtract thing, bring down a number. Uh, now we've got that remainder. Okay, no problem. 13 goes into 110 eight times, multiply, subtract, bring down the zero, that's a new remainder, so we march on. 13 goes into 64 times, multiply, subtract, bring down the zero, that's a new remainder, so we march on. 13 goes into 86 uh, times, 6 thirteens is 78, 2 left over, 2 is this remainder. And so we know that this will be the pattern the rest of the way, and since this is the pattern the rest of the way, it'll be 1, 5, 3, 8, 4, 6, forever, 0 0.153846, where the entire block repeats. We put the vinculum over the entire repetend. These are the digits that repeat, they go under a single bar. This is the process by which we turn fractions into decimals. If a remainder repeats, then we know that there is repetition in the decimal. Uh, if zero were ever to pop up as a remainder, then we knew we would have a terminating decimal. But can we go the other way? Uh, can we take a repeating decimal and turn it into a fraction. Well, there are several ways to do that. Here's my favorite. We know that the number we're interested in is a repeating decimal. The 2, 3, 4 repeats over and over and over again. There it is repeating over and over and over again. So then I wondered to myself, there are three digits in the the repetend. Well, what if we multiplied both sides of this equation by 10 to the 3? 3 for the digits that repeat. 10 to the 3, that's 1,000. Uh, I'll make that note here. 10 to the 3, where 3 is the length of the repetend. Well, what's 1,000 in? Move the decimal point three places to the right. That's 234.234.234.234. It just repeats forever. So we know what our number is, and we know what a thousand times our number is. Guess what happens? What happens on this side? That's right. And now figuring out what n is, is a piece of cake. 234 over 999, which happens to reduce to 78 over 333. 
we can turn decimals into fractions in this way, even if the decimals repeat. We look at the length of the repetend. That's an important piece. We look at the length of the repetend. We multiply both sides of this equation by 10 to that power, right? 10 to that power. And then we subtract and divide. Um, if I'm checking for understanding, let's do a couple of on your own questions. Can you convert 0.61 repeating to a fraction? And can you convert 1.396, where the 96 repeats, to an improper fraction? Pause the video. Give it a try. Run the lesson. See what you get. Okay, this is what I did. Um, I'll leave this up for your checking purposes. Uh, the one on the left is a little bit easier to see than the one on the right. And the one on the right is a little bit tricky because you have that decimal point sort of in the middle of your numerator where it doesn't really belong. So we multiply by 10, multiply by 10 to scale that fraction up. But the idea is the same as the fraction on the left in red. I hope that this is helpful, that it explains some of the things that you saw in the text, and I look forward to, to our next interaction where you get your hands a little bit dirty working with these fractions and these decimals.